Good evening. Welcome to the May 2nd, 2022 work session for the Haverford Township Board of Commissioners. Our board president, Commissioner Larry Holmes, is unable to attend tonight's meeting, so I'll be presiding over tonight's work session. Mr. Berman, please take the roll. Commissioner Forsty Grupp. Here. Commissioner McCluskey. Here. Commissioner Cavender. Here. Commissioner Quinn. Here. Commissioner Hart. Here. Commissioner Wexler. Here. Commissioner Trombetta. Here. Steve Bayol, would you please lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance? Thank you. We'll begin the meeting with commissioner committee updates. Would any member of the board like to provide an update from their respective committees? I, I would. Um, I would like to provide an update about the historical commission whose meeting I attended last month. They are working on um, the design of a plaque that any person, any owner of a building on the historical register um, in the future could apply for to have um, put on their building, which is a nice way to mark the history of our township. And um, they talked about um, just uh, how we can encourage people to um, agree if their home, if their buildings have been um, marked as a possible admission, uh, inclusion on the historical survey, how we might um, explain to, to folks why that is a valuable and something to be proud of. Thank you. Any questions or comments? Hearing none. Any other updates from committees? Moving forward, next on the agenda, we invite our police chief, John Viola, to provide an update on our police department activities. So the monthly chief's report for April 2022, uh, 13 criminal arrests, one juvenile arrest, 188 traffic citations, 11 non-traffic citations, 211 written warnings, uh, 558 parking tickets, uh, one aggravated assault to middle school. A uh, school security guard was assaulted while escorting a, a, a student to the office. Um, domestic assault on unit block on Mercer Avenue. Male was arrested in charge of related offenses as a domestic. One motor vehicle theft, one on a block of Cedarbrook. Uh, the owner of the vehicle left his key fob in the car. Philadelphia police um, recovered a car at 2900 block of Roo Street, which is up in Kensington, and the vehicle was, was returned to the owner. Uh, theft from autos, 200 block of Pembroke, catalytic converter, uh, Apple iPhone was taken in 117 South Eagle, and a um, catalytic converter was taken out of a vehicle, unit block of Hannum Drive. Um, another, Hannum, another one at the uh, Haverford College for a uh, catalytic converter theft, and 100 block of Erlington, another catalytic converter theft. So we've had two. This is last month, so we still had a, a few over last week in Haverford College, which we're addressing now with Haverford College. Uh, bicycle thefts, we had two. The middle school, uh, a student left his bike unlocked. Uh, and at Chatham Park, uh, another one, the bike was recovered short term later at the skate and was returned to the owner. We had 11 canine usages. We assisted Marple um, for a driver who fled a crash scene. Uh, Westchester Pike in Glendale for pedestrian struck. Uh, we did a, a, a conduct an open air stuff of the vehicle, and in the, the canine indicated that there was drugs in the vehicle. Uh, the vehicle was impounded, and a search warrant was um, gotten from the uh, district justice. Um, Radner PD, uh, another one for canine stiff. Uh, it, it's positive. Uh, 500 block of Washington Avenue. Uh, burglary, possible burglary in progress. Somebody heard uh, a noise in the first floor blood room, bedroom. Uh, no problems were found. Another resident was mistaken for the owner. Assist Marple, uh, another sniff, um, um, and the drugs were found in the car. 400 block of Heatherwood, uh, investigated presidents, uh, premises, nothing was found. 
Uh, another one helped Marple narcotics vehicle search at their headquarters. Um, another one, they uh, did a positive sniff. And 143 West Eagle Road at the 7-Eleven for a possible for a robbery that had just occurred. The k and Bodie was deployed, the track was started, um, and he was lost back on Belvedere Avenue. The track was lost, that is. And uh, I'll talk a little bit more about the uh, mail thefts. Um, I had a call from, I think it was Channel 10 today. They're going to come in tomorrow and do a story on it, which will give more visibility and get it out to more people. We put it out on social media over the weekend. I'm sure everybody had seen it and that we got a lot of positive hits. Uh, when I say hits, we got a lot of positive information from people. So as of uh, April, we had 14. It's up to about 22 now. So... Um, Post office box is 44 East Township Line, which is the post office. Darby and Lanark are the post office box there. Manoa Shopping Center, Haverford Road on the Lower Marion border. Um, Marple and Hastings, Darby and Eagle for a total of 14. But like I said, there has, has been more. So it continues. The checks are getting washed uh, for large amounts of money. Uh, luckily, uh, the bank makes the person whole, but it's becoming quite an epidemic. You know, I think I talked last time that the... Uh, the carriers have been approached. They offer $5,000 to buy a key from them. Um, so we have been working with the postal authorities that there are some uh, things in place right now, which we're working on very closely. Uh, but there's so much traffic at the post office uh, for what they can gather. It's hard to ascertain where it's coming from. They have changed locks, but I don't know if these have their way to figure out how to get around these locks. So it's out there and it's like a, it's it's a new problem which just started in the past six months or so uh but it's not just us like everything else it's 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 a regional uh, regional problem so, so so chief they they t took the mail out of the mail mailbox outside of the po post outside office. of the post office do, do yeah, they have yeah. any idea that like, can't can, can or, or uh, some cameras to see who could well, have done it or we'll talk privately on that how's that okay <laughs> Uh, so, um, like I said, we, I, we may even get some more information out and encouraging people to go to the post office inside, uh, not the outside boxes because they are a problem. Uh, I encourage people to go to Pilgrim Gardens because that has a, a total drop into the post office itself. Um, and you can't blame the postal service. They're doing everything they can, but you look at the number of, of boxes that are out there. You know, they're, they're doing what they can, but it's just uh, every, I'm told every postal code has uh, their own uh, set of keys. So it just, it just continues. So that's my report. Chief, I had a question. Um, I know the catalyt catalytic converter issue has been going on for a while, but I'm not familiar with what they steal, where are they stealing it from? Like, how does that work? Once well, steals they're, they're, they're targeting right? certain cars, certain foreign cars, because I'm told the minerals in those catalytic converters have more value. All they're doing is pulling up or sliding underneath the car with the electric power uh, battery up or saws all cutting both ends, it drops down and they're going that quick. And it, matter of three minutes, they're going that fast. Uh, there have been people that have heard them, uh, confronted them. We have license plates. We have made arrests, uh, but it's just like the, the vehicle thefts. We've made arrests. There also, I forgot to say, we have uh, made four arrests on the, uh, on the uh, mail thefts also. So, okay. Thank you, Commissioners. Thank you, Chief. Next, we'll discuss the items planned for next week's agenda. First is our first board commissioner. Um, the, the board of commissioners will appoint a resident of Haverford Township's first word, ward to serve as commissioner in place of Commissioner D'Amelio, who retired from the board last month. This person will serve as commissioner until the first regular meeting of the board of commissioners following the November election, at which time an individual will be elected to complete Commissioner D'Amelio's unexpired term. Are there any questions or comments from the board? Hearing none, we'll move on. Um, next week's meeting, we will hear a second reading ordinance number P6-2022, which amends Chapter 30, Pensions and Employee Benefits, as a result of the 2021-2023 Collective Bargaining Agreement pertaining to life insurance benefits. Are there any questions or comments from the board? Moving on. Also here, a second reading of ordinance number P7-2022, an ordinance which allows the township to continue the easement for the existing Grace Trail in the fourth ward. Are there any questions or comments? Moving on. <laughs> we will be hearing a second reading of ordinance number P9-2022, which authorizes traffic restrictions on both sides of the 800 block of Walnut Place 
from the corner of Manoa Road to a point 55 feet south thereof. This is a second reading. Many questions were addressed last month. Are there any questions or comments from the board tonight? Okay, moving on to resolutions. Uh, next week, we'll consider resolution 2262-2022, which authorizes an application to Delaware County Council for an allocation of county liquid fuel tax funds to be used for future road paving. Are there any questions or comments from the board? Moving on. We'll also consider resolution number 2263-2022, a resolution which closes phase two of the Back to Business grant program as a reminder, this grant program provided funds to local businesses and nonprofit organizations to mitigate their financial hardship resulting from the COVID-19 pandemic. Mr. Berman, can you please provide a brief report on the Back to Business Grant Program? Um, the Back to Business Grant Program uh, gave $2,500 to the businesses and um, to the eligible businesses and nonprofit entities. We uh, gave away approximately two hundred and twenty-five to two hundred and fifty thousand dollars in that program. Thank you. Are there any other questions or comments from the board? Did, um, I have a question. So, did you spend all of the money you had allocated for it? The. The money that was allocated was originally uh, identified in the early stages of the ARPA funding program. And so I don't have that information right in front of me. Um, as time goes by, if there are additional funding needs that are determined by the board and by the finance committee, we can discuss that. But we felt it was proper to uh, close the program so that it wasn't hanging around um, for uh, lingering applications that might not be, or might be coming and might not be coming. Thanks. Just to just to elaborate on that too, I, th I believe the discussion with the finance committee was that if we, if once it started to slow, if we closed it, that would then give a definitive, um, it would allow us to consider a definitive amount that was still left over that we could then allocate to something else that fit under our plans for the ARPA money, rather than just leaving it open indefinitely. Any other questions or comments from the board? <coughs> Moving on. Next week, we'll also consider resolution number 2264-2022, which approves the subdivision of a property at 1801 Manor Road. This is an existing 12,237 square foot parcel that is being subdivided into two parcels as recommended for approval by the Planning Commission. Are there any questions or comments from the board? Yeah, I have a, I have a question. In, in, the, in the motion, it, it describes that the applicant has requested that the Board of Commissioners grant certain waivers from certain requirements of the general laws of the Township of Haverford. Can we get an explanation as to what they are? And then also, are any of the neighbors opposed to this? It seems like there's enough waiver variances or waivers in here that I didn't know what the neighborhood was doing. So, so we're informed. The so. waivers, uh, if you go to uh, the very bottom of the resolution, be it further resolved, um, it's a waiver from the two-step review process, which they're actually not subject to because it's very obviously a minor subdivision with no public improvements. Um, so they actually don't need that waiver, but they're requesting it. Um, regarding the minimum uh, right-of-way width and cartway width, meaning that they don't need to widen the roadway just for that one or two houses, um, which would be kind of strange if you suddenly had a roadway that was widened by two feet. Um, and that the existing driveway, which is connected to um, the neighbor on the other side that is not part of this subdivision, be allowed to remain not, um, it, there's a requirement that require, let me try that again. There's a requirement that you have to have any new driveway for a new house two feet away from the property right. line. This would just allow that existing driveway to remain as is. Uh, okay. and, and yes, there are there is neighborhood opposition. Do they have the, the do they have the frontage on the street the street frontage for the second house? Yes. Okay. Any other questions or comments from the board? Hearing none, we'll move on. 
Next week, the board will also consider resolution number 2265-2022, which provides premium pay or benefits to frontline workers in Haverford Township in recognition of their extraordinary efforts during the pandemic. Are there any questions or comments from the board? Hearing none, we'll move on. The board will also consider resolution number 2266-2022, which establishes a new senior initiatives grant program at the recommendation of the finance committee. This program will provide 25,000 one-time awards to local nonprofit organizations and businesses that provide programs and activities which enhance the quality of life for Haverford Township seniors, especially geared to mitigating effects of social isolation due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Are there any questions or comments from the board? And just that this was discussed at the Senior Citizens Council. Um, they're very enthusiastic about the program. Um, lo looking forward to applications and, and uh, think it will be a, a big help. Any other questions or comments? Okay, moving on. Next week, we'll also consider a motion to authorize our township solicitor, Mr. John Walco, to execute four tax assessment appeal stipulations that resolve outstanding appeals. Are there any questions or comments from the board? Hearing none, we'll move on. Next week, in anticipation of National Police Week, which is held May 15th through 20, the 21st this year, we'll recognize the heroic efforts of our police department and recognize the officer of the year. Are there any questions or comments from the board? Oh, great, guys. <laughs> um, next, we will award a contract for number two heating oil for various township facilities. Bids have been received and the results will be presented next week. Are there any questions or comments from the board? Moving on. Board of Commissioners will also consider a purchase of, the repla of a replacement boiler system at the Haverford Township Free Library. Are there any questions or comments from the board? Just to, just to comment on this, that um, you know, it's it's it is something that needs to be done, and um, the proposal and the course of action takes into account um, options that uh, will meet future needs of that existing building, or if we it's a different building. Um, you know, we're, we're taking, the, the township is going to try to take in all that into account so that it's not um, just throwing good money into a building that may not exist soon. Thank you. Any other comments or questions? Finally, uh, not on the agenda, but um, Commissioner Quinn will be presenting a proclamation to the Billy Lake ALS Research Fund in recognition of their 30 years of operation in support of research to, and to find a cure for ALS. Are there any questions or comments from the board for Commissioner Quinn? And with that, we've exhausted tonight's agenda. Are there any other questions or comments from the board? Good job, Judy. Great job. Just well, well done, Commissioner. <laughs> there being none, we've exhausted our agenda. Um, we are adjourned. Thank you.